So, uh, this is kind of a morbid thought here, but it is something that I've sort of been reflecting on a little lately. And okay, okay, backstory behind this, I guess. I've had a lot of x-rays done in my life, particularly CT scans. I'd had like three by the time I was 12, all on my head too. So that's kind of a lot of radiation all around my brain area before it was even fully grown. And now there's, there's, you know, all this news about how the radiation dosage from these scans is, is much larger than science had previously thought. And how they're especially dangerous for kids because, like I mentioned, uh, not fully grown. But also because their cells are just more susceptible to radiation. So now my mom's always worried about this whenever I mention that, like, I got an x-ray of my mouth done when I went to the dentist or something. And she feels all guilty about having me get all these scans done when I was a kid. And so when I went to the doctors recently, and they said, Oh, we should do a scan to see how your big stupid head is doing. I tell her about it, and she says, Oh no, you should eat blueberries and take these pills because I read in a magazine that they help stop cancer and stuff. But you know, I, I, I tell her, I, I don't think just one more x-ray here is going to give me cancer. But maybe it's the straw that breaks the camel's back, or who knows. And I'm not one of those people that gets all freaked out about what I read in a magazine or see on TV. And with things like medical science, it usually seems like the benefits just greatly outweigh the risks. I try to be logical here. But still, this does make me think, and so here I am with this. What if? I was going to die soon. And we all have that looming mortality, that eventual death. It's it's part of life. And of course, hell, you could you could die any day and in any way. But imagine it, in the prime of my life, and now I have something like, let's say, a, a year to live. What would I do? Now to me, I find that I would have two options. Either I could get sad about it, wallow in self-pity, or, or, or get angry, angry at, at fate, or the world, or whatever the, the hell it is that people get angry about in these situations. Maybe get angry at my mom. She is the one that got me started on the brain scan train back when I was eight. What a horrible mother and a horrible person. Maybe a bit of both, eh? Angry sadness? That's a potent combination there. Very bitter. Or the other option. And this is the one that I quite like. I just keep on living. I keep living until I can't anymore. Because hey, I'm happy being alive. Why would I want to be alive and unhappy? If I wasn't going to die in a year, I'd be doing the same thing. I'd be doing the whole life thing. So why should it be different when I'm soon to be dead? It's a bummer, but hey, I could have died in a year at the exact same time. Even if I didn't have uh, whatever disease I have in this scenario. C cancer, I guess? Yeah, that seems to already fit with the prior setup. But so, if I died there, I would have been doing the same life that I enjoyed then as I would in this impending death scenario. Why not be happily alive for as long as I could be? Why not continue with my enjoyable life for as long as I could? Maybe I'd do some special things if I was lucky enough to have the opportunity. And the opportunity would probably arise because of my circumstances, but still, happy things. Maybe I'd be a little more daring. I, I don't know about the typical skydiving adventure that always comes up with things like this. But you know, it. at least try all the new things that I could before I'm out. And of course, who's to say how I'd react if I was really faced with this situation? Like right in front of me. Maybe I would get angry or sad about it, but I like to think, I like to hope that I'd stay happy and living. Because above all else, I want to keep doing what I like doing. And I like the simple pleasure of being alive in an interesting world. Nothing quite like it.